What's up with the Locked In fam? Welcome back to another episode of Locked In with Trey. And today, I'm going to answer the question, is the Can-Am Riker, that beautiful baby right there, is the Can-Am Riker scary to drive? You would be surprised how many times I've been asked, is it easy to drive? Uh, is it scary? Is it, you know, hard or anything like that? And believe it or not, I have two answers to that question. One, short answer no it is not scary at all it's one of the easiest things to drive especially if you've been used to driving four wheelers dirt bikes stuff like that and even some four wheelers and dirt bikes have gears this don't have gears on it so that's you you can go and check that off your list second answer is to each his own if you're somebody who's never been on a four wheeler never ridden a dirt bike or anything of that nature at all then yes it could seem a little bit scary at first but trust me when i tell you when you get on this thing and you start riding it for the first time you're gonna be like man i should have been on one of these but you don't have to just take my word for it in a minute we're gonna get on it and ride it in the city and do all that stuff i'm about to be on my way to the gym anyway to get swole you feel me come on with me and ride you know what i mean stay tuned for that but anyways yes this is one of the easiest and coolest motorcycles made to date you know what i mean it's better to me than the spider and two-wheel motorcycles you know what i mean my opinion only because of the safety as it compares to a two-wheel motorcycle and as far as the spider goes it just looks better to me that's me now it's more stripped down more slick you know sporty looking and it don't have that tour look you know what i'm saying with the big luggage bags now you can put it on there but it don't have it on there so that's why i say it takes the cake against the spider you know what i'm saying my opinion you know what i'm saying i do like the spiders too though now let's do a quick 360. okay fam here she is quick 360 still look good 2019 model right here first of its kind you see what i'm saying got her in april 2019 you know what i mean and they came out at the top of 2019 so i was one of the first people with it although i didn't start posting videos until the next few years after that so hey here she is 2019 model batmobile in effect yes sir white walls and I know some of you are asking, Trey, have you ever fallen off of your Riker? Have you ever drifted off the road or anything like that? And the answer is no. I'm pretty cautious and I kind of know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, as it pertains to one of these. It's easy. I've driven four wheelers and that's really what it feels like, especially because the two wheels are in the front. It feels like a glorified four wheeler. So if you're used to four wheelers, then yes, it's going to be a piece of cake. It's just a four wheeler on the road that can go faster than a four wheeler. That's it. You don't have to worry about it flipping on you. You don't have to worry about it not being seen. Just hold on to it and go. Yes, it can drift. Hence, it only has one wheel in the back. So yes, if you have the 900 CC basic model all the way up to the Riker Rally, uh any year yes the sport mode and the rally mode will have you drifting around any corner if you put it on sport if you hit that rally mode button yes it's gonna disable the abs system and you're gonna go you're gonna go just hold on and you're good and i think that's just about all y'all need to know i have other videos i'll run them up here i have other videos on how to operate it and stuff like that let me know down below if you want me to drop more videos like that and hey, come join the family, man. Join the Locked In fam. Hit that subscribe button and like this video. Share it to people who need to know about it. If you want to convince them that the Riker is not scary. If you're trying to get one from your parents. If you're trying to get one, trying to convince your wife or other way around, trying to convince your husband that you want one. Hey, send them this video. Tell them it is safe. I'm trying to tell you coming from somebody who remembers the first time getting on a motorcycle and comparing the two this right here is nothing like go to the dealership right now and go test drive one and see for yourself but until then it's your boy trey smith bringing you love peace and prosperity forevermore throughout your life don't you forget it and i'll see you guys on the next video all right peace